Hi, uh, greetings from Jibras Technologies. In this video, we are going to see how to generate Google slide on submission of a Google form. I have a Google form which collects student information, teacher information and the certificate that I want to create. On submission of this form, I want to generate a certificate using the Google slide template that I have kept here. This is a one page slide for a certificate. So that prints the certificate name, student name, purpose and the teacher name and date. So let us see how to do it. Let me launch form director. Click on start setup. I will choose Google slide as an application. In form director, Google slide is one of the application that we have chosen. And it has two services, one is publish slide, another one is append slide. Publish slide actually generates the slide based on the templated uh, Google slide document, merging the, uh, the data that is collected from form. And it also generates PDF from there. Append slide also is doing a similar thing. In addition to publish slide, all the submissions it can append it to an existing slide. So let us use publish slide. The first thing is I have to choose the uh, template. I have this uh, Google slide template created here. So let me try to choose that. This is my certificate, I've chosen that. It assesses that there are five fields in this slide, five dynamic fields, as you can see here, whichever is in this format, dollar curly brace, the field name and curly brace in this format that has been selected. Once this is selected, that I can configure there where the uh, the generated documents needs to be placed. Let me create a folder for that. Let me call it as generated certificates. It creates a folder. The folder will be currently empty because we are not generated anything. The next step is to do the mapping. It has automatically identified three fields which are directly mapping based on an intelligent mapping process. So I'll say go ahead. Three fields are mapped. We totally have five fields. So we need to map two more fields. Let's see which fields needs to be mapped. So already mapped fields are grayed out. So let's pick up whichever is not mapped. Student name. Student name should be mapped to the name of the student. Teacher name. In the form it is called as name of the teacher. Done. So I have mapped all the five fields in my uh, Google slide template into this mapping. The next step is to configure email template. This is the email template that will be used for sending an email notification on submission of a form. Initially it comes up with a default template. We can change that information. Let's say change the from name to be. school name and true address we want to put the students email here cc I want to put the teachers email 
leave BCC there. Subject I can say the certificate name, maybe hyphen and the name of the student. Message body. Okay, I have configured this. Um, now I'll say, okay, attach only the PDF. Save this. Once I have saved it, I can go ahead and submit the form. Let me say name of the student, my name itself. I'll put my email so that I can check my email. Same day as the teacher. Uh, for test purpose, I'll be putting my other email here. Certificate name, let's call it a certificate of excellence. Purpose. date let's see 16th submit it let's go back to the, uh, the folder on which we configured it to be generated now we can see that the certificate is appearing here as a google slide If you see this here, this actually changed as per what we have configured in our form. It has also generated the PDF document. Also, it has sent this as an email based on the email template that I have configured. That's it. It is so simple to configure a Google form to generate a Google slide output based on the form submission and merging it with the Google slide template. Now think of a scenario. I want to collect all certificates in a single slide. So in that case, I would want to make that as uh, append slide service. It's a similar configuration like uh, what we did for publish uh, slide, except that we will also choose where you want to append this. So I have created an empty uh, slide deck here, it just say all certificates. And I want to link that here. So I'll choose this. I'll select all certificates as the slide deck. Now let me go ahead and save this. So if I am submitting this form, in addition to generating a Google slide and PDF, it will also append it to one common Google slide. Let me put that. Okay, I'm submitting one form response now. So this should now generate one more 
Google slide and PDF. It is generating now. Also, it should append to my existing all certificate thing. Yes, it has come here. So it has added here. So let us see what happens if I submit one more. Let's say I'm creating one more certificate for a student called Tim. I'm keeping my email just for test purpose because it sends out email. Okay, I filled up next form response. Let me submit it. When I submit this, it will generate another Google slide and PDF, normally as published slide. Just generated now. In addition to that, since we have chosen append slide service, it will also add the template, add the certificate here. So it has added. So in a single slide, you can find out all the certificates appended for every response that is coming in here. Hope you enjoy watching this. It is that simple to generate Google Slides from a Google Form submission using Form Director. Thank you.